at the bar, leave me at the bar. It's Life on Tap, episode 75, a multimedia experience, now from the heart of NYC. What's up, everyone out there? Uh, great big welcome to all you new subscribers. Great big thank you to all you existing people that are stay with me along the way. Uh, hope everyone is well. Hope everyone enjoyed last week's special tasting. Um, you know, I hope it was great fun uh, actually going through that and recording it. I mean, it was uh, took us a little while to basically go through all the... Uh, beer at that point, but it was a lot of fun. And also, a great big shout-out to all my uh, uh, Baruch peeps out there that made out there through Rattle and Hum uh, last night. We had a really awesome time with um, with some help from uh, Brewery Omegong uh, and a bunch of other places out there. We had a great time. I uh, hope I can see everyone out there again after my finals also at some point next week. Um, but everything was really good there. Now, on to the beer. So, it somehow got just cold enough for me to serve this because my fridge is dying, which really sucks. But another, st another story. So we're going to um, we're going to do a big bomber today. We're going to do we get a little hop stupid in the head here today from Lagunitas, and this is 102 IBU for you. So and it weighs an 8% alcohol by volume. Original gravity is 1085. So we'll have it. Sounds like this is going to be pretty killer, so let's give this thing a shot. Um, this is actually right on the heels of the previous week uh, before. Uh, I did a, um, in addition to having the Wilco Tango Foxtrot on tap over there at Randall & Hum, I also got to have a, a mini vertical of the Gnarly Wine uh, 08 and 10, and, and the... I have to admit, the 08, just the, the way it's aged and the way it's structured, but it still retains its complexity, was really nice. 10 is a little young, but I, it's going to really end up being a, a great, great beer. So if you got some, throw it in your cellar, forget about it for a couple of years, and you'll definitely have a great, uh, great pint for that later. So, let's move onward. Look at that nice, beautiful golden color. I'm not sure you can see these, these little bubblies or not. But it's still carbonated like freaking crazy. So great nice head on that. Nice lacing there. So Yeah, you're you know, it's bring the grass, bring the citrus, grapefruit. It's all there. You know, it's it, it, you, you can totally tell before you even take a rip into this that you're gonna be hopified. Holy. Okay. Not for the faint of heart. If you, if you, warning, if you do not like extreme hops, stay away. <laughs> That's all i got to say on this. Um, that being said, it is very hoppy. But the, but the balance on, through the back palate is nice. Now, the hop bitterness does trail back, although the initial slam to your face with the hops kind of begins to slow, slope out after the mid-palate. And that being said, even though it's a very high hop hop beer at 102 IBUs, it's still, if, 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 you, if you have the palate that can tolerate that hop bitterness, you can really get a sense for the, um, what the malt, um, the malt backbone had to be on this in order to make it happen. I mean, obviously they're using crystal malt in this, but the but the exact proportions, the levels, the water they're using, and and and, I'm, and, and whatever yeast they did use for this, I mean, you know, some sort of an ale yeast, I'm guessing. Um, I mean, it was it's the balance is, is still there, very much there. It's um, not as crisp or clear. I need to get this off of a off of a shelf, and it might have been up there for a little while, unfortunately. Um, but um, it's still it, it's still very carbonated, so it's it's definitely fresh enough. Um, you know, I was worried about that. So sometimes when you find things in certain places, you're worried about how long it's been on the shelf. But you know, still pretty, pre still pretty fresh, uh, very well balanced, uh, very hoppy. Loving the color, loving the lacing, loving the head, loving the carbonation. All in all, uh, once again, a, a great, a, a good effort uh, from from Lagunitas. I, I really enjoy a lot of their stuff. Undercover shutdown back in the day, brown sugar. How can you go wrong with that as well? So, in case if you can get out, if you can find this out there on tap, uh, that that's even better. It was on tap for a while before the uh, keg was kicked 
over there at uh, Rattle and Hum. So uh, I had a good time there. Hoping to get out to some more places afterwards, too. Hoping to ex- you can have people try all the different places, all my different favorite stops in in NYC. So if you're interested, by the way, in getting out there, you can just get in touch with us. And you can reach us there on the web. Our, the blog here is www.lifeontap.net. Email us at lifeontap at lifeontap.net. You can check me out there on Twitterverse and the Skyverse and pop me a line. I am NewType2001. And on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash NewType2001. And uh, once again, a great big shout out to there to all the people going out to the Beer Bloggers Conference. Hoping to see a bunch of you out there. I'll be very getting very pumped up about that. Finally got my plane tickets set, so we'll be I'll be heading out there, heading out there and having a great time this coming this November. Before then, got a lot of good times to spend out there. Because remember, let's tap, drink up till it's dry.